Welcome back to Anno 1800, episode 8 of our amazing new series, The Campaign in the Hardest Difficulty Ever. We are now in the new world, we have our first city in the new world with Obreros. We're gonna try to get to Artista, the new tier in the new world. We need a couple of resources though. We need to do the tortilla, we need to do the coffee, bomb beans, and finally the sewing machines from the old world. And while we're doing this, let's make sure that we also continue to improve in the old world. On Ditchwater, our artisans want some fur coats. And this is coming from the new world, right? We need the cotton from the new world. So it's a perfect combination, perfect synergies. Let's do it. And boom, one hour later, and we've made a lot of progress. First of all, we started to expand our arbor over here in La Isla. We have a repair crane for any of my damaged ships. And we have two mounted guns. We also have, by the way, a small depot to increase our storage. So now our storage is going to be 200. That's pretty good. Let's also put in the town hall our first item, which will decrease the happiness by only 3 points for 25% income increase. Right now we have 3,300 of profit. Let's see after we put it. It jumps to 4,000. That's pretty good. And that's even before going to Artista. Now to go to Artista, we needed a few new productions, right? So I've started to put them. First of all, over here, we have started the brick production. I know I could just bring my bricks from the old world. That would be obviously cheaper than having a new production over here. But frankly, it's actually not that much. I mean, this one, you know, is 10 coins. This one is 20, so that's 50 for all of this, plus over here 10, and this 25, right? So we're less than 100 for the whole production, and with this I don't have to deal with the ship. The ship would also have an upkeep, right? So anyway, with this we're starting to make bricks, because bricks were required for all of the productions you can see over here. This is stamps, you know, don't hesitate to check on my channel. I have a full series with all of the stamps. You can also download them on my Discord community. But yeah, over here we have the stamp for the tortilla. We have one tortilla maker in the middle. We have two beef farms on the sides and also two of those corn farms. And with this, we are starting to make tortillas. And then next to it, we have the same very simple one for coffee. One coffee roaster for two of these coffee plantations. That's the ratio that you need because the coffee roaster is 30 seconds. This one is one minute. So that's already two new productions, coffee and tortilla. But it wasn't enough because the next one we needed was bombin. Unfortunately, bombin requires cotton. And as you can see, we're missing this fertility on this island. We cannot do this on this island. So I went ahead and got some new islands. And in particular, because we have the latest DLC, we have over here Manola Island, a gigantic island, a bit the equivalent of the Cape in the old world. It has the cotton fertility, but most importantly, we can start creating a dam over here to have electricity on the island, start playing with electricity in the new world. So it's gonna be very cool, but we do need 4,000 Artista, so we can't start it right away. I know it does make the game a bit easier to have such a big island like this. This way I can show you, you know, the dam and other things. So we colonized this island, I brought a bit of wood from the old world to be able to develop it very quickly. And so you can see we already have one of these stamps for the population that has been created. I also made a couple of these houses to Obreras and started placing stamps for all of the production. For example, over here we have the stamp that I already showed you for the poncho. There's a second one because I think in the future we'll need a second one. Then over here we have one of my bigger stamp for the fried plantain, right? There's quite a lot of fried plantain production. It's just missing the fish oil that we have obviously over here. Then this is also a slightly bigger one for the coffee. I haven't started it, but as you can see, you know, it's basically double. Instead of one coffee roaster, we have two coffee roasters. Then over here we also have a bigger one for the tortilla. Instead of one tortilla maker, we, we have two tortilla makers. And then this one is a new one. This is for the bombin, right? We have the bombin weather with both the cotton production, cotton fabric, and the felt. The felt actually coming from alpaca, transform into felt. A competitor's island is under siege. Last but not least, we're even producing mail, no local mail on this island. So yeah, we can see that for our generals, we're giving them everything including uh, the rum, I'll show you that in a second. Lifestyle need, they're getting local mail and felt because we are producing this felt. And for these obreros on this island, we're giving them tortillas. I'm not giving them yet the other thing because they are blocked and we're giving them also the local mail. And then we're also transporting these bomb beans from this Manola island to La Isla. This is this one over here. Now you can see that this island is actually at war and they are two battle cruisers. 
I think it's a good time to look at my enemies because indeed Vicente Silva has battle cruisers. We don't have that yet. He has, I mean, two over here, so he's probably more than two. So looking at the diplomacy, you can see that Margaret has actually disappeared. She has been killed, and to be honest, not by me. I guess she was at war also with one of the other AI. They found our last island, which was probably in Endesa. We had taken over all of our islands in the old world and in the new world, so it was probably in Besa. But yeah, she's gone. And now looking at Vicente, as you can see, he's indeed a lot stronger than me in terms of military. He has almost three times my military, but his economy is actually not that much bigger. So that's not too bad. We may be able to catch up quite quickly. And clicking over here to actually look at his own diplomacy, he's been at war with Alonso Grave, for the whole time and he's actually really winning as you can see alonso is almost dead i mean not almost dead he still has 100 of military which is half of ours and he has also 20 of economy which is also half of ours but he's definitely losing more and more islands i mean you can see this one for example he's going to lose it soon oh this uh he's going to lose a battle cruiser that dumb but okay I still think he's gonna lose this island and if you look over here in the new world he only has three islands left and in the old world it's even worse it seems like he only has Your one Harvard. left as for me Jean Lafortune the pirate in the new world has actually declared war on me so we're gonna see if we can't get a ceasefire yeah three thousand four thousand payment that's easy I also have my wife and children to this is what we make per minute let's also do the same for her ceasefire yeah 500 that's Call easy that a storm <laughs> why it was nothing at all and it is he did lose the island but he um he also lost you know one battle cruiser anyway let's go back to manola because there's indeed two more collections we haven't looked at first of all over here we have quite a big layout taking quite a bit of space for the cotton this is not for the bombing this is just pure cotton right we have a cotton plantation and then we have the cotton mill to transform it into cotton fabric this is for the old world youths these days are too lazy to get things done with their own hands because we need that cotton for the fur coats the fur coats that are needed for our artisans to go to engineers so yes we've started to send this cotton fabric from manola to the old world as you can see we have a lot more actually trade route and i've also cleaned them a bit by making some groups if you don't know when you create a new route you can click over here to create a new group or to assign it to a group that already exists and similarly if you click over here on any of your current routes you can move them move them into new group or another group so yes i've cleaned it a bit as i said we have the old world one the new world one and new world to old world and vice versa where we're sending for example the cotton as i said from the new world to the old world then in exchange i'm actually sending from the old world some beer to send to the new world we'll look at that in a second and then from la isla we're also doing something else which is we're sending the sewing machine from the old world to the new world and in exchange i'm sending some rum to the old world so a lot more transfer of resources which if you don't know is basically the basics of anno 1800 you're supposed to have multiple production hubs and in trade between them so that's what we're doing over here and the fact that margaret is not there anymore you know that makes it a lot easier also to transport resources there's a lot less risk of losing any ships so with this in la isla we're not providing a lot of things we're providing all of the basic needs right tortilla coffee bombing and sewing machine Similarly, in the happiness tab, we have the rum that we're producing locally. We have also the beer that we've been importing. The only thing we're missing is the cigar. This will require a fertility that I actually don't have yet either. And so with this, we can get our first artista. You reached a new milestone. Age of festivals. A lot of new productions, right? We're going to have the soccer balls, mezcals, many others. That, you know, it's going to take us a bit of time to unlock because it's 6,000 artista. Also on the happiness side, right, we're going to have ice creams and others. Last but not least for the lifestyle need. Again, this is new ones too. It's such a pleasure to meet you at last. So yes, those artista are really cool as you can see. Very colorful building. By the way, to unlock the sewing machine in the new world, we needed 1,000 obreros. So it did take quite a bit over here. I basically just expanded my production in the old world. Instead of having one of those sewing machine factory, now we have two. Hide the bottle, it's the boss! With two furnaces and all of this. So yes, now that we're sending some cotton fabric, we can start the fur dealer. 
It's gonna take this cotton fabric and a bit of fur to make these fur coats. And for the fur, I couldn't make it on ditch water. I actually couldn't make it also on my second island over here, or on my third over here, or on my fourth over here either. You know, none of them had the fur fertility. Good thing is I did have a small island over here that has the fur fertility. And so with this, I took this opportunity to create our first no population island. This island has no houses, as you can see, but it's still producing. It's producing this fur thanks to those hunting cabins over here. And actually something that is really cool because this is a no population island, we can increase the productivity to plus 50%. And there's no risk of anything. If we click over here, there's no risk of fire, no risk of riot or anything, because there's no people on this island. So this is going to be enough, you know, for us to produce a lot of fur in the future. Now in the new world, we've also built a first hacienda. Again, this was a building that was introduced recently with one of the new DLC. So if you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below. But basically you have a radius that is based on the population of your island and then you can build in the radius of the hacienda some special buildings. These are modules that you can see over here, which in particular are some amazing farms and also some brewery. For example, over here I have a brewery for rum distillery. And as I said, some amazing farms, like over here we have the Hacienda Sugar Farm. Why is it amazing? Because it only takes 64 modules. On the other hand, a normal sugarcane plantation, while the building is slightly smaller as you can see, this is 128 modules. So it is a lot more, and here it is, he lost again one other island in the New World, so he has only one left. Has a bit of defenses, but honestly not that much. If you consider that his enemy has battle cruiser, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. So yes, Hacienda, definitely build it, use it for farms. Now going back to the old world, we are providing a fur coat. It's giving us a lot of money as you can see now. We are in good amount of money, but we haven't unlocked the university yet. This is 1,500 artisans. So let's just upgrade a couple of people and then I'm sure I'm gonna not be at the right equilibrium for resources, but that's fine, we can fix that in a second. And that should be enough up free now. I dream of better. It increases a couple more people. Yeah, we just need seven a more. Better does island withstood an attack. Five more. Four, three, two, one. And go, we have the university unlocked. Yes, all of the goods now are unlocked for artisans. It's a surprise inspection. Let's go ahead and build the university right away if we have any space. And I think we're gonna put it over here. So I'm gonna move those productions, those windows productions over here somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, perfect place, done. And now we can get to engineer. A new milestone. Age of science and wonder. We have a first engineer over here. Again, obviously a lot of new productions, including a new material, the reinforced concrete. I shall evaluate this habitation before I draw any conclusions. We also unlock the Arctic now. We have access to electricity in the old world to make some good production like spectacles but also most importantly, you know, the steam arbor so that we can try to catch up and build our first cruisers or some strong defenses like the anti-armor gun and much more very soon. So that's gonna be exciting. So we now have Artista in the new world. We have taken Manola, a huge island that will enable us, you know, to have a lot of Artista. In the old world, we have a first engineer over here. The one thing we didn't do is to go on the expedition or the contract. So we should definitely start this. Let's assign one of our strong ship, like this one. That is good. What's on land is for land folk. What's at sea is my business. Let's put some beer because that gives us both rations and diplomacy. And navigation, we have unfortunately nothing. Except maybe over here. No, we have nothing indeed. So now let's see in terms of force. We, are, we can put uh, some coffee and maybe a bit more beef. Let's go on the expedition. And while we're waiting for this expedition to happen, I also went to Ellie to try to find one item. And I got quite lucky because I only had to reroll a few times to find him. He's the baker. Instead of using flour, the bakery is going to use grain. 
because with this we'll be able to use one of my special stamps. Delivering him to my island, and yes we're gonna use him in this layout over here, where we have a lot of bakeries in the middle, and on the outside we just have some grain farms. So we completely ignore the flour mill in the middle, and so right now it's not working, you know, it says there's no flour. But now let's put this item in the bakery, what is that one by the way? No, slaughterhouse, that doesn't work. And now this will start right away because we see grain into bread. Perfect. A competitor raised a settlement. You can boss me around all you like. And now with this we're producing enough bread for this island, for this new capital. Right, so that is going to go up. I have also built the school, you know, on the outside over here to try to get all of these two artisans. And here it is, they are ready. Let's upgrade. All of these. You reached a new milestone. Now we're out of timber. No, we're not out of timber anymore. Here it is. We're not out of. And we have a new status city. We've unlocked a lot of new things a over here. P4 and pursuit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in range. We are anchor. Let's bribe the local authorities. Oh, they were in league with the P4 and bad. I know this episode is slightly shorter, but that's also because I did a lot offline and I think we did make a lot of progress, right? We have a first artist, first engineer, and this island over here will soon be also at engineer level. And here in the next episode, we can do the final part of this expedition, the contract, and we can do a lot more. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below, by the way, where do you want me to go first? You know, should I go to Enbesa first? Should I go to the Arctic first? And also, if there's anything you want to see, you know, anything that I haven't described in detail in the series, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below. Smash the like button, and I hope to see you next time.